Today, I would like to teach you how to find the molar mass of ammonium sulfide. I have a nice little table to help us out. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing we're going to do is write down the elements we see in the compound. So we've got nitrogen, hydrogen, and sulfur. Next is then to identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play of each atom, that is. Now, if you don't see a uh, subscript there for that atom, put in a 1. Now, nitrogen, there is one nitrogen, yes, but nitrogen is part of that polyatomic anion ammonium, and you have two ammoniums, and therefore you'd have two nitrogens. In other words, take the inner subscript, multiply it by the outer subscript to find the total, okay? So there's two nitrogens. Same thing for hydrogen. Take the inner subscript of hydrogen, multiply it by the outer, so you have eight hydrogens, and then sulfur, you have one. Then you're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So here's hydrogen, 1.01, nitrogen is 14.01, and sulfur is 32.07. So those are the values we're going to write down. So we've got 14.01, we got 1.01, and then we have 32.07 for sulfur. Then we're going to multiply the row on a cross to find the total mass of the element in the compound. So this is going to be 28.02, this is going to be 8.08, and this is simply going to be 32.07. And then to find the total mass of the compound, which is what we're interested in, we have to add up this column. And it's as easy as that. So this is going to be 68.17. And the units here are grams per mole because we're finding molar mass. Now you know how to find the molar mass of ammonium sulfide. Thanks so much for watching. Look forward to helping you with more problems. Check out our channel. See you soon.